Hello my friends and welcome back to another Super Mario Maker video and surprise surprise today we're doing something a little bit different. I know I've been doing a ton of different Mario Maker videos on this channel. We've been doing troll levels, we've been doing super expert no skips, we've been doing the super pacifist challenge, we've been doing a randomizer, and today I'm adding to that. I thought it could be a ton of fun to do a creator spotlight series where I pick one creator and dedicate the video to playing several of their levels and then you guys can pick other creators that you want to see me play their levels in future episodes. For this inaugural video, I'm going to be playing some of Blue Television Games levels. Darby is one of my best friends in the entire world, and he makes some great levels, so I thought it was a no-brainer to play some of Darby's levels. The first level that we're going to play is called Chillin' with Dr. Mario. This is a pretty difficult level. It's only got 36 clears out of like 10,000 for a .35 completion rate. So let's fire it up and see if we can beat it. All right, here we go playing Chillin' with Dr. Mario. The level code is going to be right underneath it. I'll also put it in the description below. But I remember when Darby made this one. This is a pretty tough level from what I remember. Um, I think you need to stay big if I'm remembering right as well. Um, and, dude, the music is just so, so good, dude. The music in this level is so good. I'm pretty sure I remember when Darby uploaded this level. It was a big deal because... Not only is it a really well-designed level, but it's also a crazy good music level as well. Um, now, like I said, I can't remember if we need to keep the power up. I think we do need to keep the power up. Yeah, so you need to keep the power up, otherwise you die. <laughs> but that's all right. We made pretty good progress there. We almost got through to the halfway pipe on our last attempt, but we ended up taking damage to the Chain Chomp, and you have to get through this part completely unscathed if you want to uh, get to the next part. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Please tell me there's a checkpoint. Yes, there is a checkpoint. Again, I think you need to, I think you need to keep a power up through the whole entire thing now. So we, he, we need to keep the um, Dr. Mario suit through this entire thing, which is gonna be Pretty hard to do, man. Well, let's at least just see what the next part of the level is. These are some absolutely butt-clenching jumps to get through. It's so hard to do baby hops for me for some reason. Okay, there we go. No, well, at least we can see what's next here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be brutal. Okay, this is progress at least. I feel like we're still screwed though. If we No, dude, that was it. That was it. That was it. We made definite progress last time. The only thing is, I don't know if we need to have the power up through the entire course of this second half. Last time I died trying to kill Bowser. Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Did we beat it? Let's go. Let's go, did we beat it? <laughs> well, we still took damage, but we beat the level. Oh my gosh. That level is so good. And the amount of butt-clenching jumps in it is, is unbelievable. Darby, you definitely gave me a heavy, heavy glute workout, but I'm pumped to say that we beat Chillin' with Dr. Mario. The cool thing about this is that Darby went and made an easy mode of Chillin' with Dr. Mario, so if that level that I just played looks a little bit too difficult for you, check out Easy Chillin' with Dr. Mario. You might have a little bit better luck. The next level that we're going to take a look at is called 30 Seconds Until Bowser. This is probably Darby's hardest level. It's got a 0.24% completion rate, so let's fire it up and see if we can do it. I just love the fact that Darby puts in pixel art in his video in his levels. So what do we got here? Looks like we need to do a triple. We got a spring. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at spring drops. I'm so bad at spring jumps. So triple here. There we go. I'm gonna put on the shelmet. Oh my gosh, I have to do a shell jump there too. No, Darby, no! I thought what we had was special Darby. What is that? That's so dirty. He had the jukes. Darby. 
I am really, really intrigued at how tight this 30 second timer is too. There we go. Okay, grab that. There we go, okay. There we go. What do we have next? Oh, we have a P-switch jump, are you serious? Dude, there's P-switch jumps, are you kidding me, Darby? Are you kidding me? Okay, dude, I hate P-switch jumps so much. Dude, am I, I think I'm jumping too soon. I think I'm jumping too soon. I just got a brief hesitation. Come on, one P-switch jump, dude. He didn't triple! He didn't triple! He didn't triple! Oh my gosh, get sniped, son! These are the types of levels I need to be playing, though. Like, this is, um... These are the skills I'm gonna need going into Mario Maker 2, man. I need to... Get my Kaizo on, if you will. Oh! Why, dude? Why? Come on. No! That was it! That was it! Dude, how did I not... Oh! No! 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 How did I mess that up? That was it, dude! I didn't need to spin! I didn't need to spin! <laughs> I've been at the home stretch so many times. So many times, man! And I can't pull it off. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Thank goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. I had gotten to the dry bones part like three times and kept making stupid mistakes. Thankfully, you know, as hard as that level was, Darby, Darby's a good soul and he gave plenty of extra time so if you made a few mistakes here and there you'd have enough to recoup and still beat the level so i actually lied the last level that we're going to check out is called sorry this one is insane too this is actually darby's hardest level it's got a 0.17 percent completion rate i played this a long long time ago i remember nothing about it in in the slightest so let's just fire it up let's see if i remember anything but I, I vaguely remember it being hard. Obviously, it is with a 0.17% completion rate. So let's fire it up and see if we can complete it. All right, here we go firing up. Sorry, this one is insane too. Again, I have played this one before, but I don't remember anything about it. Um, okay, I th think if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, we needed, we needed the shell. I do remember that part, but I honestly don't even remember if we've beaten this level before. This feels right so far. We got some cannons here. What's... Oh! Oh, goodness! How are we alive right now? I don't even know right now. Oh, gosh. Are we... <laughs> oh, my gosh! We were so close! Wow, that was really good progress for our first attempt. It's one of those times you're just flying by the seat of your pants, your instincts kind of take over, and you do really good. Now that I know what's going on, I can almost guarantee I won't do nearly as good on this attempt. Yep, just like I said. Just like I said. How are we alive right now? Okay. This seems right so far. There we go. Okay, so now what? Why is there a Koopa? Do we need the Koopa shell? Okay, there's a vine. I don't know how tight the timer is, but I'm just going to hopefully... Dude, there's the end! There's the end. Oh my gosh. There's the end. Okay, we have plenty of time. The timer is not an issue. I thought the timer was uh, important here, but... 
Okay, we just need to... No! <laughs> Did I just do that? We had the end! That was it! That was it! What was I doing? Sometimes there's no words when you're an idiot, my friends. Sometimes your play does all the talking it needs to do. This is the hardest part of the level right here. We have to do an infamous Trump jump. Oh, we nailed it again, dude. Let's go. We were screwed either way. The The bullet bill was going to kill us or the Koopa was going to kill us. Okay, if we can get through this part. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's go. No. Oh my gosh. How are we alive right now? Let's go. Dude, we got it. We're at the end again. Let's finish strong, boys. Come on. Oh, this might work out even better. We did it! Let's go, dude! I thought for sure Mario's face was scraping the spikes. Dude, he's gotta have some cuts all over his face after that one. I thought for sure we were dead. We definitely didn't get world record, but that's okay. We were able to complete it. And I had already started this level from the last time I had played this a long time ago. So there you have it guys, we just played three of Blue Television Games' hardest levels within Mario Maker. As I said at the start, Darby is one of my best friends in the entire world, and I am so excited for Mario Maker 2 because Darby made some of the most creative levels within Mario Maker that I personally have played, besides his hardest ones, so it's going to be awesome to see what he can come up with when Mario Maker 2 comes out. Darby's going to have a whole repertoire of new items like slopes, new enemies, new core styles. Ah, the world is his oyster, and I'm so, so excited to see what he comes up with. I highly recommend if you're still playing Mario Maker 1, check out some of Darby's levels. You won't be disappointed. He doesn't just make hard levels. I just was playing some of his harder ones. He makes some very accessible levels as well. So check them out and give them a try. It's at this point in time, I would love it if you guys could take a second and leave a comment below on other creators you want to see me cover in this Creator Spotlight series. There are some creators I have in my mind that I want to cover in a future episode, but I know there's so many great creators out there that I don't even know about. So leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to check them out and possibly make a video on them. I'm also going to shout out the DGR Twitch channel because I always do and because it's a great place to not only hang out with me but also the DGR community. We're playing all sorts of games, not only Mario Maker but tons of other stuff. So if you like live streams, come, come check it out. We would love to have you. But that's going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time, take care.